Pat Blue Ribbon Seal. Thanks. What'll you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. What'll you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. What'll you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. Pat Blue Ribbon Beer. Hello there, everybody. This is Steve Ellis right here at the Chicago Stadium where we're about to bring you another wonderful Pat Blue Ribbon boxing bout. Chuck Davy and Chico Vija are top-ranking welterweight contenders, and I'd like to tell you this. As most of you, no doubt, have read around the country, I am the manager of Chico Vija, but I'm going to tell you, good sportsmanship prevails as far as we're concerned, and I'm going to say, may the better guy win. And now let's get up to the ring announcer, Ben Bentley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Al Melgart and our national anthem. Gentlemen, introducing at this time the Chicago sharpshooter and leading contender for the lightweight title, Luther Rawling. Very fine fighter. And from Detroit, Michigan, a great little southpaw, a top contender in the lightweight division, Harold Babyface Jones. One of the top southpaws in America, good club fighter. And from San Francisco, California, a young heavyweight who will soon be seen here in the very near future, Grant Butcher. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the most colorful and beloved little managers of our time who managed some of the greatest fighters of our time. Here he is. Big heart. That's for sure, ring announcer. A grand old timer of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, this, the main event, matched by the International Boxing Club, licensed and supervised by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. The officials are the judges, George Kenny and Ed Hint, the timekeeper, Charles Sidebotham, counting for the knockdowns at the bell, J.J. Lip, the attending physician, Dr. N. Alfred Diggs, the referee, Frank Sikora. This, ladies and gentlemen, feature presentation with three more regularly scheduled bouts to follow. From Stamford, Connecticut, Weighing 148, one half pounds, wearing black trunks with a white stripe, the brilliant welterweight contender Chico Vijar. <laughs> from, from Lansing, Michigan, also weighing 148, one half pounds, wearing white trunks with a green stripe, the top contender for the Willowade title, Chuck Davy. Davy. Here now, ladies and gentlemen, is referee Frank Sikora with the instructions for the fighters. 
You boys received your instructions at the office of the Illinois State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce them. I want you to break clean. No rabbit punching, no kidney punches. Be careful of your low blows. They may cost you around. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your furthest corner and stay there till I tell you to come out fighting. Also, in case of a knockdown, you must take aid. Is that understood? Shake hands and come out fighting. All set for round one. Ten rounds. We're looking at Chuck Davey. Number nine ranking welterweight contender in the world. Southpaw, smooth, classy, fast. Izzy Klein talking with him. There's the bell and here we go. We have two minutes to go on round one. One minute to go on the round. We're looking at Chuck Davey, ladies and gentlemen. Two knockdowns in round one. Punching good with his left hand. And boxing fast, moving smart. Well, I'd just like to tell you this. Next Wednesday, 15-round World's Lightweight Championship. Jimmy Carter against Lauro Salas. And be sure you've got plenty of Pabst Blue Ribbon on hand. Now we're looking over at Chico Vijar's corner. Pete Mello with his back toward the camera, the Olympic boxing coach, talking with him, getting him ready, ready for round two of a 10-rounder. Chico was hurt on at least three or four occasions in the first three minutes of fighting. Bell, round two.
two minutes to go on round two. Davy landing a good uppercut time and time again. <laughs> Minute to go on the round. Thirty seconds remaining in this round. Good second round. That ends round two, and now what will you have? What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. You can travel 15,000 miles to far off lands and distant isles. From tropic sun to arctic snows, it's Pabst Blue Ribbon the whole world knows. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Smoother, smoother, smoother flavor. Zest and sparkle, million flavors. Taste that smoother, smoother flavor. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Finest beer served anywhere. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. We're looking at Chico Vijar now, getting set in the Chicago Stadium for round three. The bell, and here we go. Davy is an exceptionally fast puncher. Davy in white trunks, Vijar in black.
Navy an exceptionally fast puncher. Minute to go in the third round. seconds remaining in the round. Yes, next Wednesday, get ready for the big one. Another world championship, Pabst Blue Ribbon Bob, coming your way direct from the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. The 15-round World's Lightweight Championship between the champion Jimmy Carter of New York and the challenger Laurel Salas of Mexico, who nearly defeated Carter last month in Los Angeles in a roaring 15-rounder. Then, two weeks from tonight, May 21st, direct from the Detroit Olympia, a return match between... Jake LaMotta, former middleweight champion of the world, and Eugene Hairston, the world's second-ranking middleweight contender. And remember, your TV radio ticket to all these great fights is the beer that brings you the fight, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Round four coming up. Davey had lots of the drive toward the end of that third round. Chuck Davy in the white trunks, Chico V. John in the black. to go in this fourth round. seconds remain in the round.
That's it for Bell and the end of the round. And say, fans, right here, I'd like to read a letter to you that we received from one of our fans here around Chicago. Gentlemen, quote, just want to express my appreciation of the fight broadcast you're sponsoring on television. I usually drink two or three cans of beer a day, and although I've been drinking a different brand, I've now switched to Pat Blue Ribbon as my contribution toward the fine entertainment you're giving us. Frankly, I have never tried, or had never tried, Pat Blue Ribbon before, and the wonderful taste of your beer was quite a revelation to me. I started out thinking I was doing you folks a favor and ended up doing one for myself. Unquote, and it's signed, yours truly, Jay McDonald, Chicago, Illinois. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks kindly for that wonderful letter. We appreciate it. And glad you liked the fight, too. We're set now for round five. Minute to go on the round. This is the best punching round of the fight so far. Bell ending the round. Well, we're looking over toward Chico Vijar right now, where again, Pete Mello with Nat Foreman and Denny O'Keefe are working on the boy. We've reached that halfway mark. If you joined us late, I'd like to tell you, friends, to bring you up to date that in round one, Chuck Davies scored two knockdowns toward the end of round three. Davy again had Vijar in trouble. Now we're looking over at Chuck Davy. Where is he, Klein, his teacher, along with Heck Knowles, his manager, and Sam Buxbaum, one of his corner men, are working over the former Michigan State Collegian. Incidentally, tonight's Paps Blue Ribbon Bout is being sent to our men overseas by the Armed Forces Radio Service. Yes, and I understand even passengers aboard one of those big Pan American straddle cruisers headed for Honolulu are hearing the radio broadcast. 
Round six it is, second half of the fight. Davies' body punches are exceptionally good. <laughs> Two minutes to go in round six. Minute to go on the round. Thirty seconds to go. About 20 seconds to go on the round. The bell. And as the bell sounds, how about a round of the friendly beer that's bringing you tonight's fight? Perhaps Blue Ribbon. When you knock off work with a big cigar and you step inside a friendly bar and you lift that glass of Pabst Blue Ribbon, listen, brother, you're really living. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Smoother, smoother, smoother flavors, zest and sparkle, million flavors. Beer. Finest beer, sir, anywhere. What do you have? Pabst Blue Ribbon. Back at the Chicago Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, getting set for round seven, there's Chuck Davey, who has scored three knockdowns thus far in the fight.
Two minutes more in round number seven. Better to go on these rounds, seventh round. Chico Vijar, over in his corner, we watch him now, has been down four times in the fight. Working on the boy who has been boxing professionally for a bit over two years. This is an important fight, of course, for both youngsters. Now looking over toward Davey, incidentally, Harry Wismer, one of the great sportscasters around the nation, was instrumental in getting Chuck to turn professional, go toward a boxing career back in 1949. Chuck, of course, was a great intercollegiate champion at Michigan State University. And I believe Harry also attended Michigan State several years before Davey, though. Round eight coming up. Stairs on Vijar. more in round number eight.
One minute to go in this round. Thirty seconds more in this eighth round. Davy, a master boxer and a good puncher. That ends round eight. And what do you think of the fight, Bill? Well, you know, Steve, I'm no expert, but everybody around here thinks it's a whale of a fight so far. And say, you look pretty comfortable sitting out there, too. Pretty nice, huh? A good fight on TV and a glass of that good Pabst Blue Ribbon right alongside of you. I was just talking to Fred here a minute ago, and Fred was saying that he likes Pabst Blue Ribbon because... Well, Fred, why don't you tell him yourself? Gee, uh, I don't know. It just, uh, just seems smoother. More refreshing. Yes, this is the kind of a beer that you like to linger over. Why don't you get together with Pabst Blue Ribbon for the next week? You try drinking only Pabst Blue Ribbon, and when you learn how good it really is, I sincerely believe you're going to settle down permanently to friendly, satisfying Pabst Blue Ribbon. So how about it? What'll you have? Folks, once again, we're set now for round number nine this time. Four minutes to go on number nine. Just a minute more in this ninth round. seconds more. Davy's right eye is cut. Right, 
The bell ending round nine. That's been a hard fight. Davey, of course, the better boxer, the better puncher. We're looking toward Chico Vijar again as Pete Mello once more gets the 20-year-old NYU freshman ready for round number 10. You fans in Chicago will be interested in the great article in this week's TV forecast on Chico Vijar and Chuck Davey, written by its well-known sports editor, Ed Pazder. Incidentally, that's the third of a series of articles on Vijar and Davey in this week's TV forecast, the country's first TV fan magazine. We're looking at Davey, Izzy Klein working on the eyes, but Chuck has boxed exceptionally well, fast, smooth, smart, hard to hit. The buzzer. Round 10, Frank Sakura, there's Davy. Sakura, the referee, is waiting out in the center of the ring. The boys will touch gloves. Two minutes to go on the fight. A minute and a half. A minute to go on the fight. Thirty seconds to go. About fifteen more. Five seconds more in this fight. It's all over. Well, they're very jubilant over in Davies' corner, and no doubt they have a right to be. Izzy Klein talking with them, Heck Knowles, Sam Buckbaum. Incidentally, you fans stay right with us. Bob Christenberry, that great boxing commissioner, will be on Mel Allen's fight follow-up tonight. Mel gets the top fans. Now we're looking over toward Vijar's corner. Our cameras are on Davy. And you know, he really did box and punch all the way. 
Now we're looking over toward Vijay, the kid with the big heart. Lionhearted, dead game. Now we'll go up to ring announcer, Ben Bentley, and get the decision. Remember, there were four knockdowns against Vijar for Davies. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official scoring by points. Judge Ed Hens scores 61-39 for Chuck Davies. Judge George Kenny scores 59-41 for Chuck Davies. Referee Frank Sikora scores 58-42 for Chuck Davies. Winner, Chuck Davies. There's Davies, unanimous decision, ladies and gentlemen, and he rightly deserved it, that's for sure. The two judges voting 61-39 and 59-41, and referee Frank Sikora scored at 58 to 42. And there's Chico, congratulating. Ch They're talking out in the center of the ring. Cameras on both kids. Chuck, the 26-year-old Michigan State Collegian, who looked mighty, mighty sharp. Vijay, the 20-year-old NYU freshman, who tried really hard. Heck Knowles has an excellent fighter in Davy. I imagine he'll knock on that door for the welterweight crown. His idea, of course, is to fight Kid Gavilon for the title. Now, don't go away, because in a moment, I'll tell you about next week's fight.